Good morning, students. So today we will have introduction of set theory. So first is what is set theory? This is a branch of mathematics. that studies sets. So that is set theory. Now what is a set? What do you mean by set? Set is a well defined collection of objects and that objects are called elements or members of the set I'll call that elements now let's have an example so let's have a So let's have so let's have an example. We have a equal a uh, let a be a set and then x such that x is a positive a positive integer more than 10. So this is an example of a set. Let's have another one. We have set B. So a set is always enclosed with this braces. X such that X is a... Let me erase this. Is a vowel letters. That is an example. And then let's have another example. Set C. X such that X is um, a letter in the word in the word happy. So these are example of sets. So it is well-defined collection. And then Let's have an example of not a set. So this is an example of not a set. Let's have the collection the collection of all good good looking good-looking students let me erase this good-looking students in in university university of Tesla example so what makes this not a set because good looking is subjective it depends upon a person or how the person describes that that person is good looking or not so it is subjective it only means that it is not well defined so another one is the list the list of honest Um, senators, honest senators in the Philippine Philippine Senate. So this is an example of a not a set because um, we cannot really measure, or there is no um, way of us measuring that 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 senator is honest 
or not. It is somehow subjective and there is a process. And in fact, we cannot have the list. Can we? Can you provide the list of honest senators? So at this moment, and that would be impossible for us to have the list of honest senators. So, so this is subjective also by nature. So these two are example of not a set. Okay. Now, let's proceed. There are two ways. There are two ways to represent to represent a set. So, the first one is what we call rooster method. And somehow, it is also called tabulation method okay so what is rooster method or tabulation it is simply enumerating elements are enumerated enumerated and separated by comma by a comma so an example let's have set a we have one two three four five so that is an example of rooster method or tabulation method because you have enumerated or listed the elements in the set and each elements are separated by we have the comma okay so that is an example of rooster method the second one is called rule method. Okay, or set builder. Set builder notation. Okay. So for the rule method or set builder notation, elements are described. So we describe the elements. An example is we have another set B. So, if this is the rooster method, if we're going to convert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into a rule method, so how will you describe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So, you will say X such that X is the first 5 counting number. Okay, so this is rule method or set builder notation because we did not list the first five counting number but instead we describe. And the rooster method, we simply list the elements. Rooster method and rule method. So two ways to represent a set. We also have here an example of a not, not a set because it is subjective by nature. And this is an example of a set because it is well-defined. We have the definition of a set. It's a well-defined collection of objects. And those objects are called elements. And we have set theory is a branch of mathematics that studies sets. So let's have part two.